At Home and Lucas here. So today we're going to be talking about Skull Candy Rail. Yes, people, this is their brand new design, brand new everything from the company. They have their all new Skull IQ, which is their new app, and it has some crazy tricks up its sleeve. This is supposedly going to give you the ability to use your voice to activate your assistant or activate the Skull Candy. Yes, you'll just say, hey, Skull Candy, and it will activate. But there is a little bit of a catch, which we're going to find out later on. That's not the best. Uh, these things also supposedly have amazing sound quality. They're supposed to be super comfortable in the ears. And I'm definitely one of those people that if I get a pair of earbuds that lock in and they're comfortable, I'm super, super happy. So these are supposedly going to do that. Not to mention the fact that they have a bunch of tech inside of them. Yes. So we're going to be figuring out so much about these earbuds, whether you should buy them or skip them altogether. That is what I'm gonna do in this video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at these bad boys right quick. So this is the Skull Candy right here. There's an image of what's to come in the box. These are of course the rail. All right, let's get inside this box, people. Okay, first thing you see is the quick start guide right here. Then you have the user guide. All right, let's take a look at their charging cable. Oh, that is very interesting, tiny little charging cable. They definitely know that most people have too many of these to begin with. Okay, there you go, you got your small ear tips and your large ear tips. Let's go ahead and walk around this case. So right off the bat, it feels uh, decent. It doesn't feel super cheap, um, but it definitely has a hint of being a little bit cheap. Uh, you can just tell by the way the plastic is, it's not that premium plastic. At the bottom down here, you have the USB port and a notification light right there. All right, let's flip this open and take a look at the boots. Ooh, it's, it opens really, that's interesting. Most of these fling open. This one is like, we'll just hang out wherever. <laughs> and I don't think there's a magnet. Okay, there is a little bit of a magnet, uh, but not much. The hinge back here though is bananas. It's really, um, you can see it does not want to flip closed. That is very interesting. It's got almost a soft close. But once you flip it open, boom, look at those bad boys right there. Let's get them out. Okay, not the easiest to take out, but not terrible. Nice molding on the bottom and some molding on the top. That's really good. So if you drop these, they're not as likely to pop out as ones that don't have molding in the top. So the, that's designed to kind of hold them in place. Uh, so that's really cool. Good molding. I like that. Okay, let's go and walk around these bad boys right quick. So it looks like you have two little holes in the top. One is an indicator light. One looks like a microphone port. You got their Skull Candy logo right there. Um, come down to the bottom. It looks like you have another microphone port plus the pads. It doesn't look like there's any more microphones tucked over here. I'm not seeing anything. And you're getting this sort of clear uh, plastic right here, which looks a little bit more on the cheap side than I think they would like. Uh, the silicone tip is really, really nice. Let's pop that off real quick. Take a look at the oval driver right there. That is very nice. Once again, looking a little bit on the cheap side, uh, to be honest. Put that back on there. Okay, that went on pretty easily, even though that is a circle going on an oval. Um, these are definitely on the uh, lightweight side, I would say for sure. They're not super heavy, which is going to be good for the ears, but also you want them to have enough in there that they're going to give you a good sound and bass. So um, first impressions, decent, um, definitely on the uh, questionable side when it comes to quality. All right, let's do the maiden voyage and drop them in the case. Okay, definitely not that side. Boom. Boom. Okay, so it looks like they're going for like a marble sort of look, um, you know, like one of those round marbles. Uh, very interesting. Um, definitely has a sort of uh, presence to it, but it's not, <laughs> there's something a little bit cheap about it that I just cannot uh, get past. There's the indicator light at the bottom showing that these are charging away. Hopefully that goes off uh, soon. 
Uh, I would hope it doesn't just stay on while they're charging. There it goes. Okay, that's cool. And we're gonna flip the lid and it's gonna come back on. Great. All right, so it's showing you that the earbuds do need a little bit of juice. Okay, so first impressions, um, I'm leaning towards cheap side, um, but I'm kind of hovering right in the middle. So I'm not looking at these as premium. I'm looking at them at something in the middle and hoping, hoping, hoping they're not on the cheap side. Um, but nonetheless, we're gonna put these to the test and figure out just how good they are. Let's get them in the ear. Okay, I'm fully suited up to go for a freezing run. These things are locked in the ear, super snug, super tight. I really have these on just because I want the cold wind to not blow in my eyeballs. It's cloudy outside right now. Uh, but running, of course, is jumping in motion. So we're gonna be testing these for how well they lock in the ear. Uh, they definitely feel solid in the ear right now, but we'll find out real fast. So let's get into this run. Okay, just finished a great run. These things locked in, absolutely amazing. They are definitely phenomenal. I didn't have to adjust them once. I did just over two miles of running, uh, some off-road, some on-road, definitely stayed in place. And my cadence right now is not the smoothest, so it was definitely a little bit more choppy, a little bit more bumpy than I would have liked. But nonetheless, locked in. The music was phenomenal. They really plug your ears so you're not able to hear the world around you so they give you a, a slight sense that you have noise canceling features in them but it's not what you have they're just literally basically like earplugs super comfortable super good sound quality uh, during the run and did not fall out I absolutely love these things they're amazing Okay, just finished a great ride on my spin bike right here. These things completely locked into place the entire time. Not like I thought they wouldn't, but they did a phenomenal job. They definitely block out the noise around me. I had my kids playing in the loft with me with the TV going. I couldn't hear anything. I had to actually take out an earbud just to be able to hear the world around me. So definitely got me immersed in my spin ride. And they're super comfortable. These things are very, very comfortable. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna get these things paired up to my Alienware PC right there. We're gonna do some simple gaming and just test how well they actually work with some, uh, some gaming. Let's jump into that. Okay, just finished gaming with these bad boys and I have to say I was completely immersed. We had a dryer that's going in the background. My kids are doing stuff and definitely a lot of noise going on. I was definitely immersed in my gameplay. These things are super comfortable in the ear, definitely for long periods of time. So if you're looking for some good earbuds to go along with your PC gaming, then these are definitely the ones for you. All right, we're gonna be putting these bad boys to the iPod test. So I got my iPod right here. This thing is loaded up with some high res audio files and we're gonna be doing a simple music listening test to see how well these things perform, the bass, the highs, the mids, the lows, all that fun stuff. We're gonna put them to the test. But the first thing you have to do to get these to pair up with new devices, you have to hold them down until you hear ready to pair. There it goes, I just heard it, ready to pair. Now I can get them paired up to the iPod. Let's get into this. Wow, these things definitely pass the iPod test for sure. You have to make sure you turn the volume up on these all the way until you hear that like weird boom sound 
and then you're able to turn the volume up on your iPod and it is screaming loud. These things are crazy loud. So you definitely wanna make sure that you turn the volume up on here first and then turn the volume pretty low on here. Make sure it's nice and low um, and then work your way up as you listen. It's unbelievable, but uh, definitely two thumbs up past the iPod test for sure. Sound quality is very good. Bass quality is solid, very, very loud. Uh, the only thing I noticed is uh, when I hit play, it would go one ear and then the other really, really quickly. So I was like, oh, that's a weird little glitch. Um, but nonetheless, pass the test, really awesome. Okay, I found the Skull IQ app to be very simple, uh, very straightforward. Everything is laid out really easy for you to understand. You can turn on and off the ability to say, hey, Skull Candy, and then you can do all of these different commands, which is kind of cool. As far as I know, when the app uh, is open, you can use the Hey Skull Candy, but if the app is closed or your, sc your screen is off, literally, um, it stopped working for me. So I don't know uh, if that's going to be updated in the future where it can run in the background. It would definitely take up more battery life, but that would be awesome. You can also have your different ass assistants, which is really cool. You can have your ability to do your stay aware enabled or disabled right here. Um, the button settings is really important. You definitely want to go in here and make your single press a volume up and your double press maybe a volume down if you want. Um, make it real simple. But I found that these earbuds definitely need to have the ability to control the volume because certain devices, they will not control the volume of the device. They will only control the volume of the earbuds and the volume is defaulted really low. So you'll, you'll be sitting there going, it's so quiet, but all you gotta do is tap the earbud until the volume goes all the way up. So that's pretty cool. Um, then you have multi-point. Everything I did with multi-point was amazing. I was able to connect two devices at once. Big thumbs up. Absolutely amazing. Love that. Um, so all in all, I'm going to say that this app is really cool. They definitely have stuff coming. They're definitely updating uh, stuff. If you were to get an update for your earbuds, the update would just be sitting right here, which is really nice. So uh, very simple app, very user friendly and not a lot to really talk about. It's got a lot of features in it. You can, go, of course, go into your equalizer um, and do custom, which is going to help out a lot if you want it to sound a certain way. Um, but yeah, good app. Okay, now we're going to be doing the microphone test. So all the audio you're hearing is actually coming from the onboard microphones themselves. They're not coming from my phone that I'm recording this on. I'm going to walk over to my air purifier, which is decently loud. It's not the loudest thing in the world. Okay, so now I have that thing on. I have some noise from another air purifier going, and it's definitely not the loudest sound out there, but it's definitely loud enough. So if you can hear my voice clearly, then that is a big thumbs up. That means this set of microphones are doing their job of canceling out the world around my voice. So these things are designed to just pick up the human voice and that's it. My voice has a decent amount of bass tones as you've heard from the video so far. Uh, so if you can hear me clearly, then this is gonna give us a good understanding of how well it's gonna sound when you're making a phone call course you're going to be dealing with cell towers so it may be a little bit different uh depending on how close you are to yours um this will also give you a good understanding if you're going to do any kind of online streaming and you're going to use these as your main microphone so microphone test one two three <laughs> okay i've been using these bad boys for long enough that i think i have a full comprehensive review and let's start off with the case so this case is actually really nice it has a very subtle curve right here on the lip and that is enough to where where you find yourself being able to find this in the dark in your pocket you can flip it open so easily they did a really good job of defining the back of it and the front of it it's very very subtle but it's so 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 nice that it becomes something that you look forward to when you go to flip this thing open so they definitely hit it out of the park with this little bit right here it is really really funny how simple it is um, the charging on the bottom was phenomenal the indicator light i later found out was actually telling me the battery was dead this thing came 
with a dead battery. Uh, the battery life was exactly as advertised. I was absolutely blown away. These things last forever, people. You're not gonna have to worry about battery life. The look of these things has definitely grown on me uh, because they're so comfortable in the ear and they, they've become a little bit more premium as I've used them. I'm like, whoa, these are actually really nice. Coming from the old school candy, these feel very mature, very grown up. Uh, the old school candy I reviewed were very uh, teenage, if you will. So these are trying to be still a little bit flashy, but not on the outside. So they're saying we're still gonna have some fun it's just we're going to be for everyone. We're going to be the, the earbuds that everyone's going to be able to put in their ears and not feel like they're, you know, a uh, teenager. Uh, but nonetheless, everything about these things uh, work actually really, really well. Every time I deal with Skull Candy, I'm always blown away because a lot of people say that they're not very good and they have negative things to say about them. But every time I use Skull Candy earbuds, I'm kind of blown away. It's it's something that is really pleasant in the ear. Uh, these things fit in the ear phenomenally. They lock into place. The sound quality is actually really good. The bass quality is really good. Everything about these earbuds is solid. Uh, the biggest selling point though for me is the comfort. They fit in the ear, absolutely amazing. The app that goes along with it is great. The microphones on here do their job really well. Everything about them is very solid. So I'm gonna give them a solid 4.5 star rating. And I'm gonna say that if you're wondering if Skull Candy is any good, these are definitely the ones to try. Uh, they don't have ANC, but they definitely plug the ear and give you enough uh, noise canceling that way that if you're in a loud environment all the time, these will probably work. If you have the money, definitely buy the ANC model and get uh, the world canceled out around you. Uh, but yeah, very nice earbuds. Uh, it was really enjoyable for me to use them. So big star rating, highly recommended. Bye. Um. All right, there you go. That's the Skull Candy Rail. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click, click that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 9K. Yes, people, so excited on my way to 10K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.